Play3 is designed to empower coaches, analysts, support staff to produce the highest level analysis in the easiest and most efficient way possible. We always want to push the boundaries of what's possible, which is why we developed this software from scratch using brand new technologies that are going to allow us to implement a host of exciting new features, including a move towards real-time analysis, streaming of video, streaming of data, and a few things that we're going to keep secret just for now. So what will we see in the first release of Play3? Well, first and foremost, it's going to be a lot more performance. That means faster loading times, faster processing times, better video performance, and even a brand new powerful video editor timeline, which is going to be a real pleasure to work with and I save you a lot of time in your workflows. On top of this, Metrica has always been a leader in the tracking technologies department. And this new software has enabled us to produce an even better tracking for telestration purposes. There's also a huge improvement in exports. That means the time it takes to export videos, a lot more customization in terms of the settings, if you want to change the quality, the frame rate, the bit rate. And I think possibly most importantly, the ability to export in the background. Previously, when you were exporting, the system would block you from doing any further work until the export had finished. Now you can queue one, two, five, ten exports and continue working on another presentation. Again, saving you a huge amount of time in your work. There's also a huge amount of increased customization within Play3. You can now have exactly the styles, the fonts, the colors you want, and save these as presets to be used again and again. We now also have a fully flexible interface within Play3. Everything within the software is modular, which means if you want to resize elements, rearrange it, you can customize the layout exactly how you want it. In addition, you can also move things to a second screen. So maybe you want to put the presentation mode in a second screen or even just put the video in a second screen and just have the editing on your laptop. You now have a lot of flexibility to work in the way you want to work. So now let me hand over to Joao, who will show us the software in action. Thank you, Sancho. Hey, everyone. I'm very excited to show you Play3 and all the new features we have available for you. So let's get straight into it. We've kept Play3 as simple and easy to use as the previous version, but with much better editing tools. First thing you'll notice is you can move the different windows around and place them wherever you prefer. You can resize them to better fit your screen size, and you can also use it in two different screens. Everything is modular, so you can create your own personal layout. You have a window called Organizer, where you can import and access all your videos and playlists. You can also have multiple workspaces open in different tabs. You have a window for the visualizations. This is where you'll choose the annotations to highlight your clips, and you have some really cool ones. The video canvas, of course, now allows you to scroll frame by frame and zoom in. This makes editing on the far side much easier. You can change the speed, rewind, go forward, and now you can listen and export your videos with the original audio track. The timeline is where you'll edit your annotations and you'll realize how smooth it is to scroll, to zoom and edit your work regardless of how many annotations you have. The elements window is where you'll be able to change the attributes of the annotations you create, like color, size, radius, width, and all the other settings that will make your visuals stand out. So let's add some cool annotations. In your visualizations window, you'll find them divided in groups to help you find what you're looking for. Let's check Spotlight and choose the number two. Just like in the previous version, you click on it and it's added to your timeline. Now you choose the player or players you want to highlight and in the elements window, you can process the player tracking to have it follow the player for as long as you want it to last. You can create more tracking boxes right from this menu without having to add another Spotlight. This allows you to track different players for different lengths of time within one annotation. Cool, huh? Manual player tracking is made easier now because you can 
scroll frame by frame and be more accurate when following the player, especially with the new zooming ability. This is the favorites tab, where you'll find the essential settings to change the visuals to your preference. We've narrowed it down in one place. You can at any time add or remove any other setting that you think you're going to use often. Now you can choose any color you want or use the color picker tool to select the exact one from your team's jersey. And you only need to do this once since you can save it as a preset for future edits. Let's go over the visualizations window and add an ID ring to our clip. Notice here on the elements window, you have several elements you can choose to change any details you want in each one of them. You can play around with the units quantity, the gap length, the width. You can pick different colors and create an original visual that you like. You can change the player ID color and the font. You can even add your own favorite fonts to your computer and use it in Play 3. Once you've created an annotation you like and will use very often, you can save it as a preset. It will be saved in your own preset folder, so next time you want to use it, all you have to do is click on it. How easy is that? You can mark the annotations you use the most as your favorite and have them all available in one single folder. Working with automated tracking data is now even faster. Let's select this process clip, head over to our visualizations window and choose a link ring to connect our defensive line here. And it's done. Some of the new available annotations are the tactical visualizations. These help you highlight different areas of the field and make your tactical message super clear. Like any other annotation, it's fully editable and savable as a preset. With Play 3, you can now create sequential pauses to highlight different phases of one moment in detail. This was a big request from our loyal clients and we made sure to make it a priority. Let's now check the export engine. Now you have much more control over the settings of your output, such as quality, frame rate, or estimated size. Now, when you've finished your work and you wanna share it, you can keep working while the video is being saved to your computer in the background. Another big request from our customers we made sure to implement. All these new features will make your video stand out so much, but what I'm most excited about is how easy it is to get the work done, just like in the previous version. Look at this. You can import a video really quickly, track the field automatically, and while it's processing, start adding the annotations you want. And of course, with presentation mode now working as a separate window, you can present your work to your players on a second screen. I can't wait to hear your feedback and see your work on social media. I'm always happy to see the new ways you guys come up to enhance your performance analysis. So yeah, I'm super excited. Thank you so much for watching.